I finally realized that I can only bring that happiness to myself. I, I can't look for Kendall to every day make me happy. You understand? So I want to tell you guys, like, we're spitting some good stuff, and we talk about a lot of that in this book. Yeah, we do a lot of that, but insecurities still creep up. And I have to find myself sometimes saying, I apologize, because... I just automatically went to a place like, well, are you tired of me? Are you? He's like, no, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. And so from that, I asked him and he asked me, so what do you need from me in this season? Because I'm starting to feel like I'm scared. You're starting to feel like you're scared. We're not computer. Let's communicate. Let's sit down right quick. What you need from me in this season? So I say that that is a conversation that you guys have to have often. So that we won't have no more divorces or people just breaking up when it could be something great. You could be leaving your soulmate because you just feel like you're not happy no more. This is that. Learn how to communicate, you guys, and learn how to learn how to allow each word that's being said from each other to land on peaceful ground where you don't have to feel a certain way and I don't have to feel a certain way. I can accept your vulnerability and where you are, and I will love it and I will build it. And I will make you strong again to know, like, I got your back. Keep pointing at me. I'll bite your lip off. <laughs> We're watching. Put me in my place, little girl. 